all doing folks and welcome back to the channel so if you can read that sign we just passed that'll tell you that we're just about to run on to snake pass now it was one of those weekends this weekend so uh, there's been a fun filled weekend so far we're just trying to get a chance to ride and it nearly didn't happen um, but one of the reasons I'm doing snake today is I can't remember, correct me if I'm wrong, whether I've done the snake pass on the Pan America. Okay, another thing I will do is apologise if my voice sounds a little croaky. Uh, one, because I'm a little bit worse for wear today, and two, uh, I had a, some sort of a throat infection on Friday. It's currently Sunday afternoon. So I'm feeling a little bit rough, and uh, last night, or yesterday, was Mrs. Alcamoto's birthday. And we got a peg down then. And I had a little one too many, so uh, I was feeling a little bit rough this morning. So, no way was I getting on the bike before midday. I have been rough as hell. But what a beautiful day. As you can see, I have left the winter gear at home. Wow. Backdrop's looking great today with the colours. Currently 59 degrees, or 58 now. Popular again with bikes today. Thrashing, this is the road to do it. Oh, car spoils it on the twisties. Oh, my voice is going. Amazing colours now changing here in the uh, English autumn or the fall if you're all from the US of A. Well, there's a nice little place you can pull over here. Oh, we've got the photographers in, so we're going to get a picture. So very soon I'll be putting things in motion for this year's winter camp over. I have mentioned it previously on other vlogs. Um, so we'll be doing that with the Peaky Biker. And there may be a couple of other guests uh, just waiting for a confirmation on when we can go. And uh, yes, that will be Scotland, hopefully with a little bit of snow in the air, like last year. Of course, last year I was on the Triumph Tiger. This year it's going to be on the Pan America. Peaky Biker rides a GS. And so with all our winter gear. So if there's any sponsors watching this obviously. Uh, for any winter gear you want testing for two nights out in the Scottish Highlands on the bike. Uh, please do send me a message.
complain about caffeine, not a lot of bikes here today, but... Go on, you know you want a shot with your bike. So that really is the beauty about this place. I just love the fact and it's gone nice and quiet now. Uh, the cafe's pulled away, the bikers are pulled away and I've got this place all to myself. Absolutely brilliant. So what we're gonna do is just jump back on the bike now, head around probably to the uh, reservoir dam, maybe stop there. Uh, I've gotta get a drone up in the air, get some shots of this place for you guys and do some more of those twisties. Not sure which way we're gonna head back now, but either way, it's gonna be pretty good with these colours um, in the background now from the autumn fall. But what an absolutely perfect day. I can't believe it. And like I said, I'm still wearing my cut over the Bobhead Alpha jacket um, and also shades on with the Bobhead helmet as well, which have been fantastic this season to wear out on the bike. some rainfall here that we haven't had back on. Okay, so we had a little bit of a change of plan. I was going to go up to Hadisic and to the edge, to the rocks. Uh, but that would have meant a longer loop coming back. And the sun's going down faster than I anticipated. So we've double back and we're going to come this way through Winners Pass. Uh, which, again, for those of you who watch the channel, you know Winners Pass is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to do that and then have a look at the view into Edel. I had two thoughts in my mind. There's a sort of bottom road which we've just passed, which goes to Edel, a beautiful little village here in the peaks. Uh, but on the road out of it is steep let's put it that way coming down it is brilliant with the little twisties but it's a slow road um, but the best part of it is to come this way and then just show you guys the view down to Weedale Valley so hopefully there will be enough light left by the time we do that I think I always cut the camera off coming through Castleton but you can see a ye old Cheshire cheese in all these old beautiful little stone cottages that are probably dating from sort of 17 something to 1800s some of them obviously a lot older going back to 1600s uh, tucked away in some of the back parts of Castleton so it's a really old village and you've also got Peveril Castle out on the hill as well so it's uh, there's an ancient castle and the whole of Castleton uh, was surrounded by a ditch as well, a fortification ditch which is still visible to this day in places and in fact <coughs> 1530 those cottages there hence the name of the, uh, is it the restaurant as well now but, uh, but just where this little gate is on the right hand side there is a marker post which we cannot obviously read from here uh, but down there is part of the old ditch that surrounded Castleton and the castles to the left on the hill. Nice little slip over the cattle grid on the rear tyre. Winners pass in its late afternoon glory.
I've got an idea, folks. We're going to go down to the uh, Shivering Mountainside. I'll set the bird up. We'll take the drone up down there. And then come back and then show you the view down to Edale. That makes sense. Plus we've got the sun on the right side now as well. <laughs> I can't believe the traffic coming out of Winners Pass is so popular when the weather's nice around here. That is the only problem with the peaks. Just thinking, actually. We'll just pull in here in a minute. Let's go to the uh, Edel viewpoint. A little bit tight here. One thing I do need to get on the pan is some more auxiliary lighting, uh, but the price of the Daymaker auxiliary lights around about five and a half hundred pound plus the wiring loom, seven hundred odd quid for a pair of lights to me. Okay, dual function, they're probably all right. Just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I did have a firm contact to me over a set of lights, but. They want me to try the ones on offer which weren't the ones that I wanted for the Pan Am so unfortunately you lost out guys but that folks is I know he says no parking to be kept clear at all times but that is the view into Edale Valley it's absolutely spectacular and then that's the back end of Mamto the Shivering Mountain I'll give myself a bit of cramp then. That's the beauty of that though, at least. Get yourself some cramp, you can stand up on this bike and get a good view of the uh, surroundings as well. So 
well it used to be, well it still is, a byway just on the right hand side, those paragliders there. Uh, but they closed it off for vehicles because it was that bad, I think people must be getting stuck down it every day. Enjoying themselves. Quarter to four, we'll be dark in the next hour. Well folks, we've lost a lot of light now, so I think it's about time to bring this loggy to an end. Lovely autumn colours through this road. Or fall colours. Trying to get past these cars. enjoy today's little run out I know it's nothing mega special but for me it's just so good to get back out on the bike so if this is your first time watching El Komodo please do hit that subscribe button please like the video comment and share if you dare but until next time folks we'll see you later I'm signing out